I've drilled the, the uh, hole in the decoy on the drill press using a 3 8 inch uh, Forstner bit. I've drilled all the way through the cork into the bottom board. Uh, what I do is uh, probably a little different than what most people do. I dowel these in place, but I do not use a dowel. Uh, dowels are, are kind of weak. They're, they're easily shattered. They have very little shear uh, strength. And uh, so I've found something that, that works very well, probably a uh, hundred times overkill, but uh, I think it uh, I think it's going to in the long run prove to be very effective. I use uh, a garden bamboo stake. They're uh, they're strong. They you, you almost cannot break them. If this was a dowel, I could probably snap it in two but I can't. Another thing I like about them is they're naturally either hollow or full of pith and the pith easily it easily comes out with uh, either a drill bit or I use these gimlets and as you can see I went all the way through there and that I, I had not touched this before uh, before just then so what you saw earlier was a natural hollowing in there and uh, it comes out easily. Now one of the reasons why I do that is I use a West System two-part epoxy to glue these on and uh, that stuff will actually migrate into this center cavity here further reinforcing it further creating a strong bond uh, also what I like about the bamboo garden stake just about anywhere in that length of bamboo that you buy and I buy them at a garden center Walmart and they come in a bundle of probably 10 or more and any some place on there, I guarantee you, you're going to find one that almost exactly is three eighths of an inch in in between the nodes on the bamboo. And by the nodes, I mean these are the nodes. And uh, like I say, in in between here, out of this stake, now they taper from big to small, and usually towards the bigger end, you'll find the three eighths inch uh, pieces and this this piece right here will probably work for another decoy. I can probably get two or three. We're, uh, we're going to glue the head on and uh, the way I glue the head on as I've explained before I dowel them on with uh, bamboo tomato steaks available at any gardening or big box store. Uh, drill it into the bottom board to give it stability all the way up into the head so that uh, you know it's past this fragile area of the neck. And I sometimes double pin them, but I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. Uh, I'm going to use the brass uh, tack method to keep or uh, to provide some additional anti-torquing force or help in the head so that it, it won't torque uh, on the head. But it should be plenty strong. And uh, we're going to then fasten it all together with West System two-part epoxy, the 105 uh, rosin and then the 205 hardener. And... Uh, We've hollowed out this tomato steak so that it will, uh, the epoxy can get up in there uh, from both sides and uh, give it additional strength. Uh, here you can see the, uh, the brass tacks that we've put in. We've clipped the heads off so that we can push it down into the cork and uh, that will give it the additional stability. The good thing about the West system, it is expensive but it's very good. And if you use it, I would recommend using these uh, uh, metered pumps because the, the pumps, it, it's like a 5 to 1 ratio, but if you put the metered pumps on it, it's one pump and one pump, and it gets you the right amount. So we'll mix that up. We'll also uh, mix it with uh, dust, wood shaving or wood dust, very fine dust, uh, out of our bandsaw so that uh, we make it almost a consistency and it reminds me of peanut butter. We'll butter it up first, then we'll add the dust, and then we'll put it all together, put it on, let it set. Mm -hmm.